Integrating e, e is the exponent. You know that. So when we differentiate it, e x always become e x. So it's just the same as integral. So integrating integrating e x d x, you get e x plus c. No hassle at all. But then that life will not be that easy for us. So we will have sometimes you will have to have e with a linear function, a x plus b, d x. So if that is the case, similar to the sign, we will have something like one over a again the coefficient of it, and then e copy whatever it is. Similar to our differentiation rule, so we throw it to the front. Now let's work on something. Um, let's see. Let's have a baby one first, just a simple one. So we have integrating three e x minus uh, d x, something like that. So if that is the case, we will have the three staying there, and then e x plus c. All right, three is a constant, so we leave it as it is. But how about that? Um, we put other numbers together. Let's see. Um, 2ex plus 1 over x squared dx. Since we do not like the denominator again, so we will throw it to the front. We will make it an index, I mean. Now we can do whatever we like. So we come constant stay there. E at the Sorry, um, yeah. And then we have e x plus one over negative one x e negative x plus c. Make sure you have the plus c. And then make it nicer. Yeah, even nicer. One over x plus c. All right. Right now, let's try with some other integration with those. Um, let's see. Get the new page first. Uh, Alright, so this is simple. So the first one is simple, so we give it the e e x plus this is a coefficient here, so we have five times one over two and then copy whatever it is, make sure you plus C. So you have e 2x plus 5 over 2 e 2x plus C. And that's how we do that with e x.